guys, welcome. This is unfinished Kamakawaida. This is the only place so we get to finish unfinished matters. Leo, we're talking about the high cost of living in Kenya, which takes us to our first very obvious question. What do you think causes the high cost of living in Kenya? Let me know what you think in the comments section. I think what's causing high living in Kenya is because of increased taxes. Yeah, yeah, increased taxes and high levels of unemployment. So many people don't have the money which can sustain them. So they see the cost of living is a bit high because of low income, unemployed people, yeah, and high taxation. There are a number of factors. But now, let me focus on one or two of them. Factors that causes high living, you know, in Kenya, the current situation. Uh, let me say that uh, it is true that uh, there is a high cost of living. It is only, that high cost of living, it is only experienced by the poor. But the rich, there is nothing, they fail. Now, what causes high cost of living is that we feel that it is there because a number of people lack jobs. You get it? They lack jobs. That is one. Because if you have a job, you are running a good salary, you will not see it. And if you will see it, you, will, you may not feel it uh, as compared to when you are so poor. So lack of jobs is one, is one factor. Then second factor, this uh, kind of taxation, we are being levied. I'm totally disagreeing with it, though I have no power to do away with it, but it is uh, another factor that causes high living, cost of living. Because there is no way you can be taxed more than necessary while you have no job. Where will you get that money to be taxed? So, just to give a, a brief explanation that we have given, we have lack of jobs and uh, this high taxation. Fluctuating economy. Um, where we are in these in these present times, everything, okay, everybody wants money. So, the government as well wants money. So they have to get the money from different people. So that's why they raise the standards of living to be able to satisfy their needs as well. I've said inflation, but then I now think that it's government policy because um, you find the government is increasing taxes on like, taxes like VAT, like everything, just premiums and so on. And you, the, the local manufacturers, they also want to keep up with what's on them too. So they also increase the, the product. So I think it's government policy. Yeah. Uh, first of all is uh, high cost of living. I think mismanagement of public funds. That is one. Two, uh, can I say corruption? Corruption costs high cost of living, yeah. Obviously, in Serikali. Obviously, in Serikali and corruption. Eh, ju. Unapata greediness. Apo uku 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 kwa government, they're so greedy that it will lead to high cost of living, wapate some of something like that. Well, uh, in my opinion, I feel like uh, over, over the past uh, many years, to me, to me, like this country is so rich. Uh, we've like swindled all our resources. Like, akuna, akuna proper channeling of our resources into like a common development agenda. Everyone just wants to like have their share or end it. So, like, at the end of the day, uh, things that are high prices, that every other commodity is quite high because no one wants to have like uh, a common development goal other than like themselves. So, I'm talking here in a political seat. Ni fanya yangu tano. Uh, make sure you may amass as much as possible and then make an exit. So 
at the end of the day to, uh, to develop as a, as a nation. So we've, we've, we've seen more churches than uh, industries. Uh, we've seen uh, like developments in it as, in a, as a pay off uh, to the common person, but we still protect them for, you know, uh, self-interest are uh, the few. So. Mm, I would say the, the citizens do a citizens mkiwa hapo mna influence na watu as in mnaambiwa endeni nini mwandamane hence ni unataka kuweka chakula kwa meza jioni unaona hiyo the citizens wenyewe inafaa kai chini wafikirie hadi tukiandamana hivyo lazima tu kazi yetu ziendelee so tunaandamania nini so influence by na the other citizens ndio inafanya hiyo cost of living pia inakuwa juu hence tuna the government pia ku implement vitu zenye zina raise tax naona zina zinaumiza wa Kenya huku at low down unazua sahi tax hezu umiza mtu mwenye ni milionea sahi naona ndo unaona akienda wenye wana complain tu ni hao wenye wako from poor backgrounds sahi inflation uh, corruption kwanza corruption the high cost of living is occasioned by one of it, I think, that's affecting the bulk of the economy's joblessness and uh, the productive age which the youth uh, uh, belong in uh, is, is quite impacted by joblessness. So I think, by and large, you're thinking the dependency ratio, if you call it that, from economic perspective, is really high. So the, the sheer numbers of the, um, the citizenry vis-a-vis -vis those, those are engaged in productive work that are able to generate uh, one, wealth, and two, enough uh, taxes that the government is able to use to uh, you know, bring services back to the people is quite, uh, uh, you know, it's not, it's not matching to that uh, relevant equilibrium that we expect. It's able to uh, have enough, you know, in terms of the national care for every take of. So then the government is struggling in a way to actually try to get that sorted, but again, um, that is also meaning that the government has to overtax, and, and most recently we saw quite a bit of that happening out there when the government is coming up with the 2024 financial bill, which again, like the GNZs, did chew down. But I feel, fair and, uh, by and large, um, there are some counterintuitive measures that the government is trying to put in place, and vis-a-vis -vis now the amount of hemorrhage that you see uh, because of corruption, yeah, the hemorrhage in terms of you know corruption and inappropriation of the national CAC. So what the government has collected in terms of our taxes that are not put to proper use. So it's a it's a vicious cycle of, you know, I don't know whether to call it nonsense in terms of how we use or put to use our public uh, resources that then don't get to benefit the populace that is already overburdened by issues of joblessness or unemployment, which again, as I said at the beginning, affects mostly the productive age, which, uh, you know, sadly, the youth that are employed belonging, uh, belonging. So yes, I think fairly much, um, you know, the, the high cost of living now, you have to try it in a way to now raise more by overtaxing the already overburdened society. And that means that again, you are milking dry the reservoirs for, say, one employment because uh, employment has got to be judged from the perspective of those who are able to create those opportunities. So if the taxes are way too high, our industries, a lot of them are now collapsing or they're actually closing shop within the borders of the country. So it's a, a bad vicious cycle that is already uh, too bad, but you know, it's, it's, it's not benefiting from some of the things that you're putting in place in terms of addressing. Uh, those issues, yes. Our uh, 100k will get into the account. So, ni kama kufanya gava kazi. Uh, ina difference na kazi ya kanisa. So, pesa yake kisha katwa. Uh, definitely, it will, uh, it will interfere with your psychological state, with your plans. So, yeah, over taxation is the main thing. I think it's because every every time things are changing. We are, we are, we are changing to a new generation. We are changing to a new era. So things won't be there. At least back here, the same place. So the same way we are growing, which is in is nafak grow, and we there's a class maybe we have to reach, and so lazima the cost of living to grow. If you want big things, 
things have to be big. I think, eh, I don't know that, but yeah. Some of the factors that lead to the high cost of living include uh, lack of employment, which means no money flow, no workflow to be able to build our economy. The second one is high taxation. Once we have hiked uh, price on goods and services, it is very hard for people to be able to afford the most basic stuff, which takes us to our next question. What do you think Kenyans do to earn a living? Let me know what you think in the comments section. You want a salary? Yeah, that's one source. Second source, there are some uh, peasant farmers. They get their money from farming. We have fishermen. We have people who do fishing. They get their money from that activity. Yeah, so it depends with the person, with the type of job you are having. Yeah. Uh, most of the Kenyans get their money from working because, okay, we have different classes of people, high class, middle class, and the, then the low class. Okay, most of the people get their work from working, not majorly offices, different works, shops, others farm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think, I think that's all. Okay, Kenyans get their money from... The, those people do their joining business, people are doing forex, people are into marketing, people are into wash wash, people are into the transport business. Yeah, yeah. Kuna online writing, kuna wale wa forex, kuna, kuna wale wa nendanga, kuna freelancers. They are just different sources of income. But sizing majorly, yeah, za, za online zinanza kupungu wa kwa sabu pia. Eh, if... From the internet. <laughs> ah, me personally, no, na internet. Do you compare when you work internet? Na mwenye atoka subui kwenda job. Okay, some jobs. Utapata mwenye na work internet. And earn higher than wo mwenye na enda job. Uh, Kenyans honestly ni hardworking. So, uh, nani wakona entrepreneur mind. So, uh, Majority of Kenyans are employed. Okay, see, 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 majority, but the ones who have money uh, get it from employment. Yeah, so either working somewhere or have a business. Almost some, or almost, wingi wana tuwa kwa juakali. Some people wana tuwa kwa the yoku influence watu, but majority wana tuwa kwa juakali the mjengo, the sites, the kutengeneza hizi ma jikos, yeah. Smart work and uh, networking. This is mingi sana. Kuna scammers, kuna drug dealers, kuna, kuna wenzi. Pia corruption. Eh, hey, corruption kwanza wanakula sana. Eh, hey, corruption pia nafai taxiwe. Kaki lakini like, wataxiwe, tax corruption pia. <laughs> People are, people are hard working out here. Let me tell you, people are working hard. People are working hard. I have literally seen people working hard. So yeah, if you see people with money, I don't know whether it's legit or not, but people are working. I have seen, I have experienced, I am also working, I need to get, people are here grinding. So if you see someone with money, just know they have worked for it. Yeah, they have worked for it. Now, if someone is complaining, where are people getting money? You should ask yourself, you what are you doing to get that money that other people are getting and you feel you're not getting? Most Kenyans get their money from online jobs. That could be jobs like Forex. Others get them from Jokali and other minor, minor jobs. We have Kenyans who also earn from social media platforms that is like TikTok and YouTube, which are known for paying content creators for their content and many, many more. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions.